In this video, we're going to be using CSS to create a three-column layout. This will be a multi-part video that will be covering quite a bit in order to create or capture our final page layout. Let me just cover some of the things visually that we're going to be doing so that you can get a concept of how we're going to create a full page. On the body, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of my text either Arial or sans serif. I feel like that's easier to read than Times New Roman. Line spacing will be increased to 1.5 of what a browser would normally render. Our final product will have a container element and using the asterisk wildcard we will move that container element all the way to the top of the page so there's no blue showing at the top. We're going to set a width of 950 pixels Using margins, we're going to center it within that final layout. We'll be giving a padding of 25 pixels all the way around within our container, so none of the content will be bumped up right against the edge, and a background color of white. The final layout will have a heading area, which will consist of a graphic, the CSS, a page title, create a three column layout, our navigation, EDCC, CIS, EDCC, Web Dev, EDCC library, and a small thin border which will separate our heading from our content. The page will have two different types of navigation. It's going to have a horizontal layout at the top and a vertical layout which will create the first of the three columns within our three column setup. The top horizontal navigation, which is a part of our header division, We'll have a margin at the top of it of 25 pixels. This will keep it from running into the graphic with the CSS and our page title create a three column layout. There will be no padding actually assigned to the division. That padding will be added to our list items. We're going to give that whole division a background color of tan, remove the bullet items or the bullet points from the list items, we're going to work with the natural indentation of the list items by moving them to the left. We're going to give the list items a margin of 10 pixels all the way around so that it doesn't bump into the very edges of our navigation. And we're going to give padding to the right of each one of them of 35 pixels so there's some spacing between each one. The vertical navigation will be the first of our three columns. We're going to give that navigation a top margin of 25 pixels to move it away from our header area. Again, we're not going to add any padding to the actual navigation area. That padding will be added to the list items themselves. We're going to repeat the tan background that we have in our horizontal navigation. Again, we're going to remove bullet points from each of the navigation list items. And to make this a vertical navigation, we're going to display these block. Remember that displaying block creates a line break just as a paragraph, division, or heading would do. We're going to float each of the vertical items to the left working with that natural indentation of list items. We're going to give each one of the list items a margin all the way around of 10 pixels to move them away from the edge of the na navigation division and we're going to add padding to the right of 35 pixels. To both navigations, we're going to remove underlines for both visited, unvisited, all the links, and we're going to add a hover to each one of them. So when you move your mouse over them, they will be changing to the blue that is repeated from our background. Our three column layout, which is the center of our page, will have our leftmost navigation, which we've already talked about, a main division which will hold the majority of our content and a side division, the right side. Our main division will be 450 pixels wide. We're going to float this to the left so that it will be next to our navigation and we will be adding a main inner. The cheat that I love to use, we're going to add padding to that main inner and it will move everything from the sides of main. We'll be looking at a child element, main inner paragraph, 
and using our text align property of justify. This will set up our content within that main inner to be both left and right equal. Our side is going to be a width of 300 pixels. If we add up all of our columns, our navigation is going to be 150 pixels, our main will be 450 pixels, and our side will be 300 pixels. That equals the 900 of our content area. Instead of floating this to the left, which I see a lot of people do, I prefer to assign a float to the right. This forces it to be up equal to our container, our body area, and it leaves it not bumping up against anything. We're going to again use the side inner cheat. Love using that cheat, and we'll assign a 10 pixel padding to that. We will also be looking at the side inner child paragraph, again adding a text align property of justify so the left edge and the right edge of our content will fill the whole inner area. The last few pieces of our layout concept. We're going to create a footer and we're going to clear it completely from our three column area. We're going to give it a different background. We're going to add it to be a little bit darker than our outside border. We're going to change the text color to white so that it stands out from our dark background. We're going to give it a top margin of 25 pixels so it won't run into the main content. And we're going to give it a padding all the way around inside of 10 pixels so the content will be separated from our blue background. We're going to work with the images. We have two within this display the CSS and the bubble. Each will float to the left of their area. In our main content that's going to allow us to wrap text around it. We're going to give it a right side padding of 25 pixels. That means content will not come over the top of it. And from my library of things I'm going to use the clear items class. Again I've explained I don't know exactly where I got this, how I got it, but it works for me all the time. That's the overview of what we're going to accomplish in this series of videos. So keep watching. We'll be going through all these things and showing you how to accomplish them.